Last year I did a GPU dish out video where the results were disappointing on some level. I wanted to recreate the same mod by using a different PC case which should probably have a better airflow at least on some degree. But will it be enough and will it make any difference? Let's have a look. Compared to my previous video on this one I'll be using EVGA RTX 3080 XC3 Ultra Graphics card. On this video I'm not gonna show you exact details how to do the D-Shard mod on this card because the process is pretty much the same as on my previous video. In case you are interested in the details please have a look at that video instead. Having that out of the way let's jump out straight to the results. As, as some of you might have expected the results are still disappointing. Please take note that I haven't replaced the thermal paste nor the thermal pads just to be able to compare the results before and after. So here are some of the findings I have found by spending a couple of weeks working on this mod with trying different settings and things and seeing what's working what's not. To be able to reduce probably your low temperatures by around 10 degrees is to keep your fans as close as possible to the heat sink of your graphics card. Now unfortunately this XC3 heat sink has these annoying clips which are keeping the fans around 1 cm or a little bit less than 1 inch away from the heat sink and that is lowering the air pressure of the fans towards the heat sink which is obviously shown as a poor temperature results as well. It doesn't matter how expensive fans you might have the difference is still there so for the best results please make sure that the gap between the fans and the heat sink is as small as possible. The best way of course is that the fans are attached straight on the heat sink. Of course you can improve your temps by replacing the thermal paste and the thermal pads as well. So in case you're hunting that uh, around 50 degrees on low temperatures I would assume that you will need to do a dish round mod and also replacing the thermal paste and the thermal pads as well. And of course it's important to take care that airflow in your case is working as, at least on some degree. Instead of showing you decibels before and after how loud or quiet my PC actually is, I have decided to play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for a while and let you listen in case you can hear or can't hear my PC running in background. Please notice that I'm having a mic attached to my shirt on purpose just for the sake of having your ear a little bit away from your PC uh, because I assume that you are not gaming by having your PC next to your ears. Now let's have a try. I'm gonna launch game right away. And let's have a hear, can you hear the graphics car running in the background? Please feel free to readjust your volume levels on your preferreds. I'm gonna click the mouse button as well in case you want to adjust your volume based on that. Now let's fire up a random game and you can hear for yourself how loud my PC actually is. The microphone is over here. I'm running the game on the very maximum settings so it should cause some load on my 3080 graphics card. And this is by the way 38 inch monitor so the resolution is 600p.
Now, as you can see, I'm in the game. This is not pre-recorded. My aiming sucks because my position is, as you can see, very bad. I think my keyboard is much more louder than this GPU on load. And as you can hear, my PC is very silent. I have played pretty much the whole game here. I'll leave you to listen for a bit more. The temps are still around 71 degrees. Another benefit from this D-Shroud mod is if the RGB is your thing, then you can also install RGB fans like I did on this video. First of all, I want to thank Arctic for sending me these P12 ARGB fans for this video. I haven't been asked to say anything good or bad about them, so all my opinions are my own. Uh, for example, on this video I have said that the fans are changing color based on the temperature of the GPU and that can also be one of the benefits by having RGB fans on your GPU. So is the D-Shroud mod worth doing or not? Uh, I would say yes and no, depending on what you're after for. If you're after some extremely low temps, then in that case consider replacing the whole cooler with something better, or at least make sure that your D-Shroud mod is having the fans running on the heatsink without any gap between the heatsink and the fans. You will also need to replace your thermal paste and the thermal pads as well. Otherwise you can uh, lower the noise levels of your graphics card as many of you already probably know by undervolting your graphics card. That can give you pretty solid uh, 
performance and noise level without the need to make any physical changes to your graphics card. If you find your graphics card to still be uh, noisy or just have that annoying fan noise for the reason or another, then in that case, of course, this shard mode might be a way to go. Anyways, guys, if you find these topics to be interesting, I already have some ideas for my upcoming videos, so I hope you will stick around. My name is Leo, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.